I'm going to show how to do a standing wrap properly. So you want your quilt and you want your polo wrap. This is a good skill to have um, just for placing properly fitting standing wraps and also for bandaging for wounds and injuries. So we're going to start with our quilted wrap and you're going to want to place it on the cannon bone just below the carpus, the knee, and just above or over the fetlock depending on your size quilt wrap. So start by laying it down on the leg and we're going to work on the outside. So you want to roll toward the outside of the leg, making sure that there's no creases or folds in your quilt wrap that are going to cause pressure points. So lay everything nice and flat, not a lot of pressure, just kind of lay it down nicely. Then we're going to take our polo wrap and go in the same direction. So I like to tuck it underneath the quilt wrap. You can start anywhere on the leg. I always kind of start toward the top of the middle. And same thing, you're going to lay it down nicely. Nice and even pressure. And to get a little bit of tension on it, you're not going to pull across the back. You pull a little bit across the front of the leg. So we're not going to worry about injuring our tendons or anything like that. As you work your way down, putting a little bit of pressure on the front, laying it on in the back, we're gonna come down and cover about a third to half of each polo wrap so that we get nice, even pressure working our way down. And depending on how long your polo wrap is, you can get down to the bottom, leaving a little bit of quilt wrap showing, and then work your way back up using the same exact technique. And hopefully you've had your polo wrap folded correctly so that your velcro is on the top and you can just lay it down nice and tight.